We warn you guys, what you're about to witness is another crazy and incredible half price books comic book haul. What's up guys, welcome back to the J. Rue Productions and another half price books comic haul video. This is episode number 90. As I promised, as we are reaching closer to episode number 100, I'm going to do a special giveaway. So we're only 10 episodes away. So this time, this haul consists of a couple of stories that I decided to uh, merge together. So let's go ahead and get started with a couple of these items that I got from uh, the Bellevue location. Yeah, nothing so spectacular about the Spider-Man 2099 number 12, right? Even though it has, um, oh, I, was gonna, I thought that was Spain, it was Spanantos, where the heck that is. But if you flip on the back, it happens to be Amazing Spider-Man number 294 with Kraven, one of the popular villains. This is, um, so I paid basically a half of 75 cents. Hey, I didn't put those two comics in the bag. I saw it like that. I was like, okay, I'm going to grab it like that. So that's definitely a highly sought after, especially with the black costume with Craven. It's not in the best condition, but what can you expect, you know, to pay only like half of 75 cents. So continuing on, we have Moon Knight number five. This is from the 1980 series. There are some things you can't fight. So I paid 25 cents for that. It's a great thing about the half price books. And Mighty Thor number 349. This one is uh, 30 cents. The Brothers Odin. And I was lucky enough to find number She Hulk number one, first print. All right. I'm wondering if she's going to ever get star in, um, in any of the Avengers movies. I think she would be a popular character. And speaking of Hulk, here is Hulk number 90. Just before the World War Hulk uh, famous issue, that's going to be drive up the popularity, especially with the Thor Ragnarok movie coming out. Was that next month, I think? And we're going to end it with this Batman number 675 Grant Morrison story. Nice cover art, too. And it looks like somebody sold it to them. Whoever was trying to sell it was $3, but I only paid. Um, about $1.50 for this issue. All right, so continuing on, here's a sneak peek of the Knicks haul. All right, so you guys saw all the good stuff. Or a sneak peek of it and we have these um, graphic novels my girl green arrow the longbow hunters book three track and snow and I pay 50 cents for that we got book one the hunters unfortunately I couldn't find book two or maybe I already have it I have so many comics that you know I have to keep track of them online make sure you check me out in comicspriceguy.com under J underscore rule, or maybe just J rule, and then you see all the comics that I have. And of course, with these, um, I, I, not Silver Age, well, close to Silver Age, I guess. Uh, Incredible Hulk for 99 cents, of course. This is issue number 258. It looks like it's guest starring all these uh, Squadron Supreme members. I think it was what they are. Incredible Hulk number 259. The Hulk joins the Soviet super soldiers to battle the source sinister. A little bit too much going on. I think that's what's popular in the 80s, right? Where you have just a whole bunch of characters on the cover trying to sell the comic. I think that's what the gimmick back then. And here's number 260. With the machine on my own and which one would destroy the Hulk. A little bit too many words on the cover. You know, if you compare it to now, you see like more... Uh, more stylized art, you know, where you just feature like a whole bust of a character as opposed to 
too a little bit too much going on to cover in too many of these labels and stuff. Here's number 254, waiting for the UFOs. The Hulk faces four fantastic new enemies. Whoa! Okay, at least so we have um <laughs> the first appearance of those enemies, I guess, the UFOs. That's gotta be a key issue, right? And Spectacular Spider-Man number one with Venom on the back. Real nice art. I don't, is it Ramos who drew that? Big shout out to him. That's really nice art right there. On the clearance section, of course, when you see Saga, a big fan of Saga. I read it online. I'm all caught up. And uh, Fiona Staples and Brian Vaughn is an amazing combination. You guys are missing if you guys are not reading Saga. Chapter 33. But unfortunately, I think when they signed with Image Comic, who bought the rights to Saga, they had to agree that it will never be made into a movie. Unfortunately. Can you imagine today's special effects and technology? How, how great the movie would be? It would be like a Star Wars mixed in with uh, Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. Or maybe they can always change their mind. Here's number 32. Here's number 31. 31. All right. Chapter 30, it's so sad reading these, seeing the cover price. Oh, by the way, today I sent Half Price Books an email complaining about uh, what I feel about the price stickers. And I'm going to show you guys a quick synopsis of uh, basically what they replied with. Yeah, so it looks like uh, Half Price Books decided to uh, take my comment into consideration and they've actually made plans of um, transitioning out to prevent putting the price tickets directly on the comic book and using these sleeves. So I'm happy to find that out. I just want to see it carried on to all stores, you know. So I'm definitely doing my job for the comic book community. If you guys feel like you should do the same thing, make sure you tell your local Half Price Books of your thoughts. And here is Deadpool number 18, Civil War 2, Book of Death, issue number 1, from Valiant Comics, Secret Empire, Brave New World, with Namor, uh, Captain Marvel, that's not Hyperion, it's a different version of Iron Man, and Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and Black Panther. Oh, supposedly the new trailer came out, I gotta check that out too. This one is um, Rocket issue number one. See, think about the time it takes for the employee to put that price sticker on there and the price sticker itself, and you only get 25 cents in return for a comic book. Is it really worth the time and the money for the price sticker? You guys actually do the math. That's just bad, bad uh, policy, I guess. Bad thinking. Captain America 600, this is a huge comic right here. It's probably double size with Bucky. See that? And a Silver um, Winter Soldier right here. Oh, this looks like an old school Captain America uniform. Green Lantern 80 page giant, never issue number one. And we get to um, this special Strife limited edition comic preview from S2 Games, courtesy of Kevin Eastman and S2 Games. And lastly, we have Thundercats, The Return from Wildstorm Comics. And, whoops, the Gris Venom. And here's a quick sneak peek of the next haul. So I hope you enjoyed that short footage. And it looks like um, Half Price Books is giving out more of these coupons for the upcoming November uh, coupon list. And I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna take advantage of the 40% and 50%. So Expect some great footage videos from that. Gotta clip that and put it in my wallet so I don't forget. Alright, so the reason why I decided to buy these are Robin 3 all bagged comics is because it's gonna go on my eBay. I'm gonna put it as a comic bundle. Make sure you check me out. So this is Robin 3 um, collector set with hologram cover, issue number three, Crowd the Huntress, issue number four, and also issue number one. You see Bane in there. Special hologram cover. 
These are all the gimmicks back in the mid 90s, you know, special covers, bad comics, hologram, combination of everything. And of course, Hardy Quinn issue number four from New 52. And I paid uh, about $1.50 for that. Definitely a good deal. And very lucky to get this Batman Eternal to go in my Batman collection. The New 52. So Batman Eternal. I'm not sure what that series is about, but I definitely appreciate the awesome arts and the story from Scott Snyder. Oh, I'm with, I want to say David Finch cover, but I am not positive. And finishing with this short haul is issue number three with New 52. Pretty cool art cover, you know, with the heart all cut up. Harley Quinn is a crazy character, that's all I can say. And make sure you check her out on Injustice because she gets even more crazier. Imagine if she has some Superman powers. Yeah, so that's what the Injustice is all about. Alright, here's a quick sneak peek of the next haul. Now we got this Harley Quinn number one. Good stuff. How many of you guys have uh, watched the Defender series? I know I have. And speaking of that, Elektra is in it. Yes, hopefully I didn't ruin it for you guys. She's in it. And this is an awesome cover. It's like an embossed cover, front and back. Check that out. It's like metallic and embossed. Very awesome. Root of Evil, so it's a limited series that came out in the, I want to say 90s maybe, and here is issue number 2. So I said, since all the other issues have a price sticker, give me that for 25 cents, and of course they did that. And here is issue number 3, here's the back, I love that embossed red color, it just looks so awesome. Gotta have in the collection and check this out. Here's just see the size that she used. It's her weapon. That's usually number four. McDaniel art. McDaniel used to draw uh, the 90s uh, Daredevil. Continue on with more of these clearance comics. See, they should all bag it like this and put a price sticker on there. Or just put it in the section where it's 25 cents, you know, in a certain location. Anyway, that's all my suggestions. Grew number six. We got Guru number seven right there. Guru the Wanderer, Sergio Aragonis. I'm not that familiar with that. I would say it's like a kid's version of Conan with light humor. That's why I'm guessing it is to be. Number nine. And the new Captain America number 25. The reason why I decided to pick that is because, you know, it's going to be a new Captain America in this. So it's probably going to be a key issue. And I don't buy... Archie's comic, I believe this is the first one ever bought, maybe. Archie Comics, uh, 
Kevin Keller, issue number one. I'm, and I read it, and I'm surprised that he is a gay character. <laughs> so here is Cirque, Cirque du Soleil, Ka, Marvel Custom Edition number two, not for resale. Guru number 36. Number 47. Number 50. And number 100. Got this Batman and Green Arrow Best of the Brave and Bold. Issue number one. Neil Adams, Bob Haney. And very fortunate to get these Harlequin. Harley Quinn. Early issues. Now you're probably wondering why did I not pay ten dollars for issue number one? I just feel that it's overpriced for half price books. Maybe on eBay it was sell, but I was just a little bit turned off by that. You know, maybe it was five bucks I would have bought it, but not for ten bucks. You know, I'm all about value shopping. If you guys watch my Craigslist comic book videos, comic book hauls, yeah. So here's Harlequin number six with a United States of Lunacy. Issue number seven. So you can see I tried to grab all the early Harley Quinns up to issue number 10, I think. So here's Mystery Assassins Make Their Match. Issue number 9. I really like this cover right here. It stands out. Issue number 10. I guess I even bought it later on issues. Here's issue number 11. Simply because Power Girl is on the cover. Right? And issue number 12. The Power Girl and this Infinity Gauntlet True Believers number one. All right, I have the original Infinity Gauntlet too, and almost the whole set. And last but not least, to end this awesome haul is the Red Hood and the Outlaws issue number one, very first print, the New Fifty Two. Red Hood used to be, uh, I think, Nightwing. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. So this is a hot issue. That's his group that he's leading. Awesome art, awesome cover, awesome find. So hope you guys enjoyed this awesome haul. Make sure you click on the subscribe button so you can stay tuned for more exciting food products, reviews, and also exclusive kind of haul. And don't forget every month I'm giving away free comic books to a lucky winner. Happy collecting.